Hello everyone, it's Kelsey here. Welcome and welcome back to my channel, Budget Better Life, where I budget, cash stuff, and save for a less stressful, more enjoyable life. If that sounds great and you can relate, then keep watching. Okay everyone, so today I am going to be doing some mini savings challenges and I'm going to be unstuffing my wallet and seeing what I have left this week for rollover money. Now, I do have some ones next to me here. I pulled out $50 in ones from the bank. I like to pull out ones from the bank because I enjoy searching for star notes and letter bucks. If you guys don't know what that is, all ones have a letter on them and the letter is basically indicating which state that it was minted in or where it was minted. So I like to search for ones that have B's on them and I save them in a specific savings challenge. And I also like to look for star notes, which are reprinted bills with the same serial number if a bill had to be destroyed. I enjoy doing that. And this week I did it on a short video, which you guys should be able to see. Hopefully I have put that short video up first. So you guys can check that out and see me searching through my ones in a short version this week. And yeah, so why don't we just get right into it again? This is $50. I have one, two, three, four, five dollars worth of B bucks that I found this week. And then I would say the next thing we should do is grab out my wallet. Okay, so here is my wallet and these little mini envelopes sit down in and then I've got some change as well, which we should take a look at. And that is everything in my wallet. So we did go to Canada this week and I do not have a lot of money left over. I'm pretty sure all of these categories are empty. So I can take these right off the table. And then I do have one B buck it looks like. So let's set that aside. And then I have just a regular dollar. So I'll put that with the regular dollars over here. I have a $5 Canadian bill, which I will set aside here. And then I just need to pick out my Canadian change so that I don't put it in with my American change. And that's pretty easy to do. So there we have it. Okay, so all of this, oops, there's a dime. Okay, so all of this American change I'm going to put into this jar right here. And this jar I've been filling up with change and it has not been tracked. I have a penny savings challenge in my Etsy shop, which I've been working through, but I haven't been tracking on it in a little while and I want to get back to that. So what I like to do is just collect it up for a while. And then in another video coming soon, I will count all of this, track it, and then I will exchange it into the bank for real money. I've got a new jar that I'm excited about. So I think I'm going to start working on filling a new jar. So that's the plan for this. We can set it aside for another video. And my Canadian change is going to go into this long-term savings pouch from Budget with Ira. I have a dollar, a $2 coin. So that's $3 and 50, 60, 75 cents going in. And then I can set this aside. Okay, so now that I have all of my money sorted out, I can grab out my minis binder and I wanted to add in a challenge today. So that's one that I'm gonna add in. But this is my minis binder and it holds all of my challenges. Okay, and then for minis, I have some more bucks here. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven more B bucks that I need to add in. And then here is a star note for you guys to see. I have two star notes that I set aside last week in order to save into this as well. So I've got star notes, I've got B bucks, I've got regular money. And I wanna add in my color roll and save. This is a digital download you guys can find linked in my Etsy shop. This one happens to be a early days, um, basically like a prototype when I was first working on them. Now they have, so you can fold them up to make an envelope like this. And now they have a larger challenge and the smaller challenge on here as well. So um, this one just has both of the smaller challenges and I'm gonna tackle both of them together. And I think that would be fun to do for minis. So I'm gonna add that in and then I've got Hello Honey and I've got my son's savings challenge, which will take care of the B bucks. 
So I think where we should start is with my son's challenge just so that we can get those B bucks taken care of. Now, this savings challenge was gifted to me from a subscriber and her name is Mia. I'm super excited that I have it because it's really cute. My son loves Blippi. So let's go ahead and count up the B bucks and see how much I'll, I'll be saving with this one today. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So I have thirteen B bucks here. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna color in two of the fives. So I'm gonna go five and ten right here and then this is a two so i'll go with a two for 12 and then i think again i'm kind of going to make this one here like dollars so we'll go 10 12 and then a dollar here for 13 and that takes care of all the b box so i can put these back pop it in here i've got one b buck from previous and so we should have 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 dollars is correct. We can pop that into my son's envelope and close it back up. And so now that that is taken care of, I think we should skip forward to star notes. So why don't we go ahead and do star notes next. This is my Star Notes savings tracker and it is super cute. Again, you guys can find it in my Etsy if you like it. You can use it to track anything and I've been using it to track Star Notes. But I also wanted to tell you guys that in the back here, I was hanging on to some Canadian money and I slipped these two bills in the back because they are trackable bills. So I found this $20 Canadian bill that says track this bill with whereswilly.com. And this week I went ahead and made sure that all of my bills had been tracked. And so I plugged in the serial number for that Canadian bill and I just wanted to show you guys a screenshot. I typed in that I had found the bill while visiting my mother-in-law and it looks like it came from Winnipeg and so it traveled a long distance. It also looks like it hadn't been tracked in around four years. So not very many people tracking the bill when they found the bill. Um, but yeah, that was pretty cool to see that it traveled quite a distance. Um, these two bills are American bills that I found that are trackable with wheresgeorge.com and I thought this was really cool as well. I had found this bill within my savings challenges and I thought that I already tracked it. Sure enough, I had already tracked it, um, but I just went ahead and typed in the condition of the bill. It is in really good condition. Um, it's quite a nice looking bill still, maybe like one crease, but not that. So I popped that in there. And again, this bill only had traveled over one state, so not very far. But this one, however, was really cool. So when I typed in this bill, I found out that it had come from someone's Mega Millions winnings in New Jersey. So that was really cool to see. And they said at the time that, um, you know, it had a few creases, but I put in there that it is quite stained. There's a lot of stains on it, but it's not ripped or torn or anything. So it's a, still a nice bill. And it's really cool to know that someone who won the Mega Millions literally had this dollar in their pocket. And those are the things that I find to be so cool and interesting. Um, and that's a reason why I really enjoy looking for specialty bills like star notes and things and just searching through my dollars to see if there's any cool serial numbers. Just typing in that I have the bill and seeing where the bill has been to me is really cool. So I think what I'm going to do with these two dollars is I'm going to track them on my star note tracker because to me they're like specialty bills. Um, so that's where these are going to live until my star notes tracker is complete. So I've got these two bills that are getting tracked and then I have this beautiful star note here and this beautiful star note here. So these two star notes are going to get tracked on here as well. So I'll just write in a dollar there. And so we will be coloring in four of these little stars this week and saving all of these dollars. I 
think I should have colored first and then written second. I think that's what I usually do because my marker is bleeding. Okay, that's fine. Perfect. So I've got those all tracked. Let's take these dollars, pop it in with the star notes, and then we can put it in this envelope here. And so this envelope now has 50, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83 dollars in here in my special bills. All right, so let's pop this back down in and then let's flip forward. Actually, while we're here, we might as well do um, the, get rid of this bill here. Not get rid of it, but we might as well save it, right? Okay, so since this challenge is worth $10 for each, um, each of the icons here, and I only have a five, I'm just gonna color half half of a cake. I mean, that works, right? And then the next time I get a five, I'll color the other half. So that's what I'm going to do for that. And then I can pop this down in with the rest of the Canadian money. And this money is getting saved up for mine and my wife's birthdays later this year. So now I feel like we can flip forward to the front. And so I think what I want to do is I want to do Hello Honey first because I did work really hard to get caught up on my Hello Honey this week. And although I am not going to completely catch up with all of them, I wanted to at least watch all the videos so that I was caught up. So I've got a 9, I've got a 26, a 13, and a 40. So I think I can do, I can definitely do the 9 maybe in the 26. Um, so let's count that up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's twenty-six. So that's what I'm gonna do. So let me just start coloring here. So I think this tea bag I'm gonna color in teal. And if I can remember what episodes these were from. Um, I think one of them was an I Spy, but I think that was that one. I can't remember what the tea bag was. But I'm going to leave this little part white because I feel like that little part usually is white for tea. I don't know. <laughs> and then let's go ahead and color in this one here. And I'm just going to do the heart in all one color. I'm not going to get too, too fancy. And I'm going to do... I'm going to color this in purple. I think that'll be cute. And guys, if you didn't notice, I put my paper or my challenges into my happy planner. So I'm pretty excited. This is actually a happy planner um, notebook. So it's like extra large. I don't know what they call it. I think it's, I don't know if it's called extra large, but it's like a full size eight and a half by 11 size notebook so you can see it's got note notebook paper in it not happy planner pages so it's not a planner but i can hole punch anything i want and pop it in and i thought that would be cute to hold my challenges instead of um just having them like loose <laughs> and like all around my office so i really like it and i think i'm gonna get another one for this to save my challenges that are full size pages. So that's my plan, but I really like my happy planner. Okay, so I did the nine and I did the 26. Now, really quickly, I'm gonna exchange out the 26 for a $20 bill. So this here is my little bank bag that holds $100 and I recently depleted a lot of ones from it and I think it'd be nice to put some of these ones back into here. So why don't I go ahead and do that? All right, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and I want to grab some nicer ones here, 18, 19, 20. So I just want these ones to be like kind of nice. Um, so again, I'm looking for $20 here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, $20 going in 
to my bank bag and that stays at $100, which is nice. And then I can use this 20 for the envelope and this should be six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Just kidding, it's not, but that's fine. Okay, so 26 is what I'm saving. So 20, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I'm also saving $9 for this one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. So let's count it up and add it all in. 20, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 30, one, two, three, four, five. Perfect. So that works out. And then I can just pop this down in here and add it in with the rest of the money. And in total, my Hello Honey has 20, 40, 60, 80, 85. There we go. 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 100, and 1, 2, 3. So 103, that's pretty cool. If I do do a bill condensing, I would be able to swap that out for a $100 bill. And then it has 111 from previous that I had pulled for the piggy bank. All right, so Hello Honey is taken care of. I've got two for next week and potentially a third if I do more. And that is it for this binder for now so I can set this away. Okay, and then I've got some extra money here. So let's count up and see how much I have left. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven dollars left, which is pretty exciting. So I think what I want to do is grab out a die and I will go ahead and give a roll on these and see what I get. All right, so I got a three. So let me just put a three in here and then I'll pull three. One, two, three. Okay. And then I'm going to roll one more time for this one. All right. So I got a six. So I'm going to put a six right here and I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I have $2 left. So I think what I want to do I know guys, it's kind of cheating, right? But I'm gonna put a one there and a one there and then that will be my last $2. So I've got six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Going in to start off my color roll and save butterfly challenge. Love it, okay, and then that's it. I used up all my money. I counted up the money that I had left over in my wallet. Now, things might be changing as far as minis go and as far as me having rollover money at the end of the week, but we will get to that next week when we get to that because in my next video, I will be doing my weekly cash stuffing and I have a new binder to show you guys and a new setup that I'm really excited about. So please make sure to subscribe if you guys haven't done so already so that you don't miss that next video. But that is going to be it for today's video. And other than that, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.